stream the language. Should I call to a white-tailed deer when I'm not looking at him? Absolutely, we call it blind calling. Deer are very vocal. All through the, the season, even in the summer, deer are vocal, especially does when it comes to having fawns with them. But when you're calling, especially blind calling in the fall of the year, basically what you're saying is, hey, I'm a deer and I'm over here. It's something simple and something subtle. I like doing that sometimes in the early season, just through the woods, especially if I'm hunting a good food source. And what I like to do when I'm blind calling is call soft. You don't want to get out there and blare the woods down. You are making deer sounds, and chances are when you're making deer sounds, you're not going to spook deer. But make those sounds subtle because you never know how close a deer is to you. But what I like to do if I'm blind calling is start off like this and just now, I know to the human ear, that's not very loud, but on a good, cool, crisp morning, you'd be amazed at how far a white-tailed deer can hear that. I'm gonna say several hundred yards because I've actually watched and witnessed deer react to that light calling. Just simple calling, and give it about 10 to 15 minutes in between, especially when you're blind calling, because those deer are gonna come in cautious. They're looking for another deer. So when you're blind calling, pay attention, Call sparingly about every 10 to 15 minutes and do it softly, especially in the early season.